Good morning, everyone. My name is Ruo Lin Huang from Shanghai, China. I am very glad to be here to introduce our work. This pa the paper we propose is Federated Learning with Random Communication and Dynamic Aggregation. Now I will introduce this work from four aspects. That is background, issues, conclusions, future works. First, the background. Local devices such as mobile phones own a lot of data. However, due to data privacy and device ability, it is impractical to conduct centralized training at central server by gathering all the data from clients. To address these problems, federated learning is proposed. Federated learning allows clients to train a joint global model collaboratively while keeping data locally. In this way, Federated learning has the advantage of data confidential, distributed storing and computing. Second, the issues. A typical federated learning system consists of two stages connected by communication. The first, clients train local models with their local private data sets independently, and two, server aggregates the local models into a joint global model. Since communication and aggregation are two primary performance bottlenecks of federated learning, interest in these two areas has increased. <clears throat> in this paper, we designed a new federated learning algorithm named FedRed. Random communication and dynamic aggregation methods are proposed for FedRed. By using the combination of fixed communication interval and constrained variable intervals, Random communication method enables federating the learning system to try various intervals in a single task so that we hope it can improve model accuracy. By presenting a new form of aggregation weights and making weights update automatically, dynamic aggregation method enables system utilities mutual impact between global models and local models so as to increase task accuracy. In addition, dynamic aggregation method not only puts additional but a little computing, computational burden on powerful server instead of resource constrained clients, but also can apply it to modern and convolutional neural networks. The third concurrent, as for Exper experiments, we evaluated two methods respectively and compare FedRed with three algorithms on three hyperparameters. Results at Cipherton de demonstrate that each method outperforms compared with and FedRed can obtain higher accuracy than state-of-the-art federated learning algorithms. First, as for task and data set, our training task is image classification on CIFAR 10. We separated the smaller data sets of various size of, from, from the training set and further use data augment method to simulate several conditions. And the test images are used for a global test after each round. For different models, we record the test accuracy as a metric to compare model performance. Second, as for baselines, for random communication method, we compared it with typical fixed method. For dynamic aggregation method, we compared it with fed, um, federated averaging and federated proximately. For federated, we compared it with three algorithms, that is federated averaging, federated proximately, and centralized training. In addition, in order to ensure the accuracy on comparison results, modern convolutional neural network, a mobile net is used as a learning model among all comparison algorithms. The last as for results. For communication method, since federated averaging and federated proximately both communicate as fixed scammy. Here we compare the here we compare the proposed random method with typical fixed method. Figure 3a three, three shows the compared results. In case of assigning different communication interval f as 4, 5, 6, and 7, random group performs better than the fixed group. 
which demonstrates the ability the availability of proposed method. For aggregation method, since federated averaging and federated proximity have different aggregation methods, here we compare the proposed dynamic method with feder federated averaging and federated proximity. Figure 3b shows the compared results. It could be seen that weighted aggregation shows a little better performance than federated averaging, but it could not reach the reach the height of federated proximity. And dynamic aggregation method shows more flexible and efficient ability than others, which demonstrates the availability of a proposed method. The last four federated we proposed, we compared it with three algorithms, that is federated averaging, federated proximity, and centralized training over three hyperparameters, hyper that is data size and client amount and total uh, iteration as shown in figure four, figure four uh, A, B, C respectively. Um, results show that um, federated obtains higher accuracy than federated averaging and federated proximity under each condition we set. To sum up, each method we propose outperforms typical or state-of-the-art methods. Federated consists of two methods obtain higher task accuracy compared with federated averaging and federated proximity, and achieves similar performance with centralized training. The, <clears throat> the last future works. For for communication, we will try to reform communication scheme to a gradual way with introducing incremental learning. Since incremental learning has the advantage of promoting the connection of old and new tasks, federated learning system with incremental learning can fix the problem of unbalanced data distribution. And for aggregation, we will devote to design an element-wise method used for modern complex convolutional neural networks that registering neurons before aggregating so as to improve model performance. Thus, we will devote to design a more effective and flexible federated learning algorithm than popular algorithms. That's all. Thanks for your listening.